positive thought through the mind in regards to how you're perceiving yourself at this point in time in your evolution cycle. Send that thought out to the divine universe and invite the divine to flood you with greater inspiration in how you shall interact, not just within this yoga practice, but every moment from this moment forward for the greater good of yourself in your evolution process. Now move your breath through the lungs and explore the lungs' potential as you breathe. Often one does not utilize the breath to one's advantage. Here purposefully improve exchange to your advantage. While stretching the lower, mid and upper spine, lengthening the neck, stretching the sternum, easing the shoulders back. Until one cannot stretch the back anymore, then relax that back, then reach. Allow the chin to lift up. Invite the back of the neck to lengthen, pivot the chin in, leaning back firstly. Watch the ease the back round, then lean forward. Raise your collarbone, close the jaw, stretch the shoulders. Lengthen your neck, create a sway. You shall find that some of these movements are so habitual that you move into them with ease and grace. Gently lean forward. Watch your fingers interlace. Push. Let them go behind. Add freedom across the shoulder blade. Move your arms to your right as I work in mirror image. Lift your left elbow higher than the right. Add your back interlace. Lift your ribcage forward to your left. Lift the right other higher than the left. Both hands at the back. Find the back of the neck and head interlace. Resist and relax. Invite those elbows to feel heavy. Be relaxed. Raise your chin. Match your right hand over to your left ear. Stretch the side of the neck. Opposite. Stretch the right side of the neck. Be relaxed, lower the chin across the collarbone. Again, this is your life. Our aim is to do our best whereby we can choose to live what we may consider as the best life that is available to a soul that is choosing to be aware of its greater divine state. Praise the Jinnah. Often we will speak about the soul, the spirit, the mind, the ego, and so on as we are seeking to understand the deeper teachings within the yogic practice. Close your left nostril. Breathe easily through your right side, whereby the lower, mid and upper lungs work easily to your advantage. Continue accentuating your lung potential. Lower, mid and upper. Once completed, change opposite. Once more. Lower mid and upper. The question you must always ask to yourself is, are you choosing to utilize your mind as it was designed to be utilized once you are fully connected to the grid of the divine intelligence, or is this still a work in progress? In a moment we shall turn to the right, at completion of exhalation to your right as I work marriage turn. And to your left, to your back, relax. Beyond your knees, forward. Again, one cannot change the past, but one can certainly change the present in relation to the future. Up, move your right arm up. Move the left arm up. Move the arms back. To your knees. Ready for circular, lean back to your right, forward one to your left, leaning back two, lean to your right, forward to your left, leaning back three, forward to your right, and we shall change to your right back, towards your right second time back, towards your right third time back. Gently notice your belly. As you breathe in, flick it forward, as you breathe out, flick it back, deepen and back. Work at a pace that's 
seems to be accentuate lung expansion and contraction. Each breath fills the lungs to capacity. Each exhalation squeezes it to your backbone. As you are stimulating and massaging the internal organ. Work three more times. And upon the third, breathe out, release, bring your knees towards each other. One, leaning back. Four, touch your back. Two, leaning back. Forward. Let go of those hands. Move your knees forward and free those shoulders. Right foot over the left. Left hand over. To your right turn. Both hands at the back. Watch the sternum. Both palms forward. Look at your belly. Left foot on the top. Turn to your left again. How positive are you in relation to how you shall lead your life forward? Release. Is there any doubt? Is there any discomfort? Let's say, are you stressed or are you comfortable to be present at this moment? Leaning back in relation to how you feel at the response. Why would you choose to carry stresses that can cause you discomfort where you can now let them go? Back. Onto your back. Lift your knees. Pedal. Gently. Lower your knees down. Support your hips. Free your heart. One or two to your thighs. Round your back. Second time. Push. Over your thighs. Lift your knees and walk the feet forward. Slowly come up. Interlace. Pull the shoulders back. Forward. Up. Lift your right side. Lift your left side. Lift both sides to your hips. Push to your knees. Look at your back. Up you come. Three times back one. Down. Second time back two. Down. Third time. Left hand and right wrist. Pull the arm across. Right hand to left wrist. Pull the arm across. Both hands to your hips. Lift your pooch to your knees. Look at your back. Dig your back with legs. Up you come. To your ears, forward one, back. To your ears, forward two, back. To your ears, forward three, back. Touch the back of the feet. Beside your feet. Bend one knee at a time up, alternately, simply. Ready for helicopter, up, around. Simply, one, beside your feet. Easily, back up, two. Down beside your feet. Easy back up. Three. And down beside your feet. Add to your hips. Support it to your knees. Add both flexion. Stretching in the groin. Up. Your hips at the left back as I work in mirror image. Second time to your left back. Third time to your left back. Let's change to your right back. Again to your right back. Once more to your right back. Find your hips. Support you to your knees, to your feet in a good response. Place your feet towards each other. Circular at your wrist. Sweep them out. Bend your knees for comfort. Circle them up. Circle them down the midline. Then change wrist direction. Up the midline. Up. Out. In. Shake those arms. Swing those arms around. Swing those arms around. Slow them down. Change. Swing those arms around. Swing those arms around and slow it down, shake out comfortably. Gently 
preposition. Salute, let's begin. Slowly up. Preparing to bend those elbows, bend them straight down. The right foot back. Look at your knee. Both feet back. No, your knees complement your heels. Onto your belly. Lift your palms up. Let them go. Hunch your back. Dip your spine, lift your knees. Place your right foot forward. Look at your knee. Forward at your belly. Feet together. In at your thumbs. Feet adjust. Tailbone curls, perineum lock. Soften the facial muscles. Create a smile. Exhale, inhale. Stretch back. Add the left foot back. Bend at 
Anthony, push out the foot. Forward at your palm, round your back. Behind you, interlace, bend at the knees. Look between your feet. Straighten your knees. Bend at your knees, raise the chin up. Let it go, place your feet together. Prayer position, those arms shall circle out. Out beside your feet, place your right foot back. Those arms shall circle, come down, up. Circle, the feet in back. Are we positive? Lower the knees, hunch your back. Raise the chin, drop, sliding up. Look at your feet. Place the right forward. Look at the knee. Mat your arms around. Place both feet together. Bend the knees and at your arms. Again, remember, it's not simply moving the body. It's how you utilize your mind that is important. How the body will follow. Be positive. Mat your thighs. Preposition the same sequence. Ready? Bring your knees towards each other. 
each other. Strike your right leg. What is it that you can do today that shall make your tomorrows that much better? Do it today. Let's say externally there are stresses that are occurring. Why would you choose to allow those stresses to cause you stress? Goodness. In years to come, there will be individuals from this generation that would stand out. Companies. So shall you be one of those individuals that shall stand out in relation to how you dealt with your life and the challenges that is finding us on a daily basis. You grow from adversity. Be wise. If there is a divine intelligence that oversees life, should you not be clear with the fact that you are in communion with it? Straight the left leg. Never doubt your intelligence, left arm brow. Never doubt the potential that resides within you. Never doubt that you can fully manifest what you feel relevant in regards to your objective in my place. Let's say a stress had found you for a while. Acknowledge it and deal with it, let it go, but do not go back and replicate it. Meaning, continue. History never changes. They will tell you. We as a species continue to replicate the same. Let's say you were able to go to the last century and review the discomforts, the stresses, the traversities that occur. Is this century any different thus far? Oh, it's like the knees. Lift, be wise, act in a manner that is constructive. Let it go. Forward. Do not allow yourself to feel anything but empowered. Back. Left leg over right. At times it may seem challenging to even contemplate that concept. But trust, the seed that you plant in your life shall bring you the harvest in time. Whatever occurs in your life binds you to the seeds of the past. That's why it's very important never to underestimate the, your mind's influence upon your life. Let it go. If you are seeking to become stronger, you must exercise the muscles that you're seeking to strengthen. Simply assuming it will become stronger is called ignorance being back. If you feel the world needs peace, then humanity as a collective must act in that manner. You only have peace when humanity as a collective wish peace. Many say they will, they wish, but they do not act right leg on top of the left. Turn to the left. Why is it that it's always a minority that influenced the majority? So the question is, how are you being influenced? A shop only remains successful as long as they have customers. <laughs> if no customers find their way into the store, in time the shop will close. So use that analogy in how you think and the respond. Be the entrepreneur that you were born to be. Oh. Straight your right leg left around here. Adjust the left leg. Turn to the right side. Perhaps at the beginning of any adventures that you are choosing to move into, you may not be as clear in momentum, but if you focus upon it, gradually you shall find momentum. Stretch along that way. Let it go. The funeral coach will get your right knee round your back. Changing feet. Left leg up. Right leg back. Adjust the hip to your left toe. What is it that you're seeking? And how shall you find it? And when you find it, what do you do with it? Let's say you wake tomorrow morning, or any day in the next seven days, and you find that 
someone has left you one billion dollars. How will that change your life? Or let's say you wake up and you find that you've lost everything that you ever worked for. How will that change you? But why don't you remember that everything is in your mind? Whatever you set in motion shall come into fruition. If you're seeking success, then you must think in a manner that is successful. If you think in a manner that is successful, but yet there's an undertow of failure, what do you think the outcome will be? No. Your whole mind must be focused upon success. Sweep your feet around. Circle your fingers in. For thousands of years, humanity has continued to exist in one form or another. But yet, throughout each generation, only a few finally recognize their true divine nature. And they know it's a wise one. The question is, how should you partake in that communion? Change your power. Lift your ten fingers. Circle the fingers deep south. Supply and demand. That is the marketplace. Supply and demand. So the question is, when you look around the planet Earth any time, you shall find that it is supply and demand. Up when there is adversity, stress, war, famine, it means somewhere it's supply and demand. There's no need to have any family. Every living human being has a divine right to live a wonderful life of health and well-being. But why are they denied? Oh, most do not even question that. We just assume that others shall take care of themselves. But we have an influence upon how we live our life and how others shall live their life. Be positive around your life. Act constructively. Just as we are now together through this yoga practice. Left up. We're choosing to weave our way through our minds with positivity, not negativity. Change. Relax. Relax to your knees, support your hips, lift your sternum, or close your eyes. Left foot up. Imagine over the next 12 months if you act in a manner that is far more proactive than you had in the past. Imagine the outcome. Let it go. Left up. Stretch. Back. Bring the knees in. Push across your thigh. Let's add a push up, shall we? Back. Whilst we're at it, let's add a second push up. Down. Up. Let's see how inspired you are. The third push up. Down. Up. Back. Follow your right knee. Bend at the knee joint between your thumbs. Every week I have shared yoga classes with you in meditation without fail. The reason is due to the fact that I'm committed to assist for as long as one needs assistance. We see the long picture, not the short. It's easy to say we will, but can you truly say to yourself that you will see it right through to the end? Be positive. And each time we feel far more inspired than the previous. Remember, your life has value. Do not waste your time on thoughts of negativity and discomfort. Raise it and trust that there's a higher force that is guiding you and shall give you guidance as long as you choose to allow yourself that guidance. Be back. Easy push up one. Back. Easy push up two. Back. Easy push up three. Back. Left knee bends at your thumbs forward. Change only occurs once there is sufficient energy to create change. You can create change with yourself, but you cannot change the world unless the population at large is willing to have a change. Once the population wishes the change, change occurs. But the question is, when we ask for a change, are we working with divine intelligence? Or are we simply following for the sake of following without realizing why? How shall you review your life one day? Shall you review your life one day as one who was wise in intelligence and how you thought? Or shall you review your life as someone that just followed blindly without question? Open your eyes. Be wise.
Live feedback. A push up in between one. Back. Second push up in between up. Back. Third push up in between up. Back. Lay your knees. Be seated between your heels. Bend your right arm. Left arm under. Separate the shoulder blades. You're sitting between the heels. Fingertips towards the floor. Up, interlace behind. Left elbow bends right under. Remember, if someone else is happy, it's due to the fact that something triggered them to be happy. The question is, what shall you do to make sure your life is worthy, positive? Whereby the early can feel inspired to wake up with a sense of purpose. Throughout the day you feel motivated, you feel inspired, and by the end of the evening your mind still is inspired with pure divine beauty rejuvenation. Make every day a holy day. Then you don't have to wait for a holiday to relax. Boy, right foot on top. Left foot back. Left elbow over anywhere you feel comfortable with. Again, if we're looking at the yoga practice, then we must begin to understand what the word yoga means. To unite, to join. To bring all the pieces perfectly together, whereby you can sense and know who you truly are. Not every soul that is alive at this present moment on the planet Earth is seeking full mind illumination. Not every soul that is living at this present moment fully understands who they are. Not every soul at this present moment has allowed themselves to be so attuned with the higher mind that divine wisdom finds them by inspiration. The question is, where are you in relation to that? Have you understood what it means to be one with yourself? That's very important. Continue improving the twist. Along that back. Be positive as always. Be the inspiration that you seek when you see your reflection mirror. Be proud of that person that you see. Imagine if you began to fully love who you are unconditionally without vanity. Imagine if others around you began to be influenced by your presence. The world will truly be at peace. Exhale, release. Up, exhale. Then, as my teacher once said to me, where would those young souls come if the world was truly at peace? Up. Stretch along the back. Left foot on top. Right foot back. Move the right hand around. For the world to be at peace, the souls here must want to be peaceful. It is stated that peace finds a soul that is advanced. If the world has become the peaceful place, a heavenly place, then you will have heavenly souls here. Then the young souls will no longer come to this planet. They'll have another planet to visit. Or you may choose to raise your vibration and move to a higher dimension of existence. Can you see the universal life force around you. Let's say there are individuals that no longer incarnate in physical form. Can you see them? Can you communicate to the subtle realms of existence? Some will tell you they can. Stretch along that back. Be powerful in your thinking. Thus the power that you utilize shall assist you in clearing all the debris whereby the pendulum of life shall guide you with the greatest of ease. Achieve your best. Don't forget to breathe. If someone chooses not to live a life that is fulfilling, that is their choice. The question is, what choices have you made for yourself? Exhale, release. Squeeze the breath in. Leave not tomorrow what you can do today. Let me remind you again, leave not tomorrow what you can do today. 
So let's say you go back two years in the past, prior to this year. Would you have done anything differently? Let's say the world went back three years in the past. Would they do anything differently? The, the likelihood of them changing would be practically zero. Because most human beings say they care, that most human beings have no clue as to whom they are, yet alone their whole purpose of being. Back. All right, let's add a push-up, shall we? Second push up, shall we? Up. Back. Let's add a third push up, shall we? Back. Up. Lower your legs. Around. I say most because the world is in crisis due to the fact that most human beings, to whatever degree, never take the opportunity to understand who they are and bring about the changes that are needed. It is far better to put out a small fire than one to throw and try, is it not? Back. Use fire correctly. Do not use it to harm others. Imagine if every living human being today was given freedom to act, think, and respond in a manner with intelligence without prejudice. Right foot on top of the left. Should we just accept what we're told without question? Now, there's nothing wrong with accepting without question if you do not wish to wake up. But if you wish to wake up anything in life, you must know who you are. Never accept anything, even what I share with you, any yoga books, any book of life, never accept until you have taken your time in your own research. Then if it begins to fit your paradigm in belief and objectives and actions, Never simply follow for the sake of life. Back up. Let it go. Back. Let's say you were to watch a commercial hamburgers and the person says the burgers are better at this place. Would you go and get a jack? Oh. Or would you prefer Mac?
people have constantly accepted blindly when I consider the hypocrisy of Western understanding and logic across the divide. Around. Be kind to yourself. For one day you shall read your life. And as my teacher said to me, you cannot blame someone else for your actions because they were your actions. Not before you act think. Especially on that book. Onto your back. Then when you act, be proud of the fact that you thought with intelligence, now you can act with greater divine wisdom in support. Ease your shoulder blades towards each other. Lift between the shoulder blades. Adjust your feet. Now choose a variation that you feel comfortable with as always. This is your life. I can only share with you certain methodologies in regards to how you can think, act and respond. But it's up to you to act as you see fit. Go on now. How do you leave? Feet one foot apart, look at your knee. Keep the right leg one foot up. Push your lower back into the floor. Lower that foot, raise your hip up. Lower the hip, keep the left leg one foot up. Hold it there. Lift your shoulders off the floor. What do you consider as luck? Bend the knee. Again, adjust as you prefer. Lifting your hips in a manner that's comfortable for you. Come down, hug your knees. Both legs straightened one third off the floor. Lift your shoulder blades up. Straighten your legs. Lift your shoulder blades up. Leg down. Raise your hips. In a moment, the feet shall float above and behind the head. Thus, come down. Lift your legs up behind your head. Hold it there. Collarbone to your chin. Then one third up. Hold it there. Two thirds up. Hold it there. If appropriate, adjust the size if you're comfortable. If appropriate. Just as hard if you're comfortable. Don't forget to breathe. And slowly come down. Onto your back, keep your knees bent. Palms out, hips, slide your soles and feet together, splay the knees, let the head roll back. Push your ribs away. Push the chin away. Lift between the shoulder blades and free your feet. Walk the knees in towards each other. Place your right leg over the left. Adjust your toes to match, roll the knees to the right side. Changing left on top. Move your knees to the left side. Bring the knees together. Up we go. Seated. Into cap. Front your back. Lift your knees up. Easy push up. One. Back. Easy push up. Two. Back. Easy push up. Three.
that lift your chin, knee to the floor, onto your belly, bend your knees and grip both ankles. Lift your knees and thighs up, pull the shoulders back, stretch your heart center, adjust your toes accordingly. Put off tomorrow what you can do today. If you're diligent in your life and you act proactively daily, then the tomorrow shall be much lighter than yesterday. And you shall gather greater momentum. Slowly down. Compliment. 
Ayutthaya. Remember to feel inspired, be positive in who you are, and act with intelligence and integrity. Do not simply follow the mass consciousness unless you have clarity in understanding what is that mass consciousness. Relax. Would you hop on a boat if you knew that boat was going to sink? Would you buy shares if you knew that the market was going to crash upon that particular stock? Would you purchase a home knowing that in a month's time it will devalue by half the value? Choose wisely in your mind. Never assume. Be the best agent for yourself. See it. Then as you invest, your reward shall be greater than you could ever have imagined. You should work with intelligence, luxury, in divine guidance, in synchronicity, in the universal matrix of the light. Close your left nostril breathing at the right time. Words only have power if you back the word with action. Just as we have 
through these recordings every week we've constantly continued to share the yoga class with you because there's consistency and every day we have shared meditation with you without fail with consistency as we are choosing to create a fine vibration in alignment with others on the planet like mine so we as a collective can find greater inspiration from the higher self can whisper. And once you find your way back to the right release, look above your right ear, change look above your left ear, change look behind your right shoulder, change look behind your left shoulder, look at your nose, blink, bring a smile and either be seated, lay down comfortably for you.